Godzilla. Kong. Godzilla. Kong. Godzilla. Kong. Godzilla! Oh shit, we're recording now. Welcome back, everybody. How are you, Burn? <laughs> Hello. Good times, everyone. Oh, good times. You're right. Good times. This is Ready. this is the bodacious rant with Burn and Rye. How are you? Yeah, it's great. I'm good. I'm good. Well, Real good. Fantastic recording with you, Burn. This is so good. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so <laughs> why we're here today? Uh, excuse that beginning. Please ignore that. Stricken <laughs> from the record. <laughs> why today here? We. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Were we art interpretation? <laughs> this is just my Charlie moment. Just hmm. Yeah. Be danger. Who enters here? Oh shit! The kid's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So today, uh, this lovely Sunday, right, a uh, week or two before Super Bowl Sunday, my money is on Chiefs and Buccaneers going at it. Actually, I don't. I don't know who's what the score for that for the Buccaneers game is right now but there were some good plays by Green Bay and Tampa they were both doing really well so that was a I'll, good game. I'll, I'll pick a I'll pick Pack and uh, and Bills just because I'm tired of seeing Tom Brady in the Super Bowl and I don't want <laughs> Patrick Mahomes to get in another Super Bowl he's great but I can't you know, Sam that's, that's a Charger but, fan you know I mean it sucks it's, my Niners did not get to it this year we had a really bad year but there's always next year but I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing the Buffalo Bills go back at it just because I know – I was talking about with my boss at work. Like, if any team deserves it, they do because they're, they've done super well. They haven't been in the Super Bowl in God knows how many years. So it's just one of those things, kind of like how the Chiefs haven't been back since, like, you know, last year. So I think if anybody does deserve to win it, you're right. Bills, Bills and Packers would not be a bad matchup. Mm-hmm. Just also because I would, wouldn't mind, you know, Ian Rodgers getting into the Super Bowl because he's real good and just his team around him hasn't really been that great. I like his uh his insurance the insurance commercials with the uh-huh. State Farm State Farm commercials. <laughs> I love you giving me the Rogers deal, and Aaron. There is no Rogers deal. You're getting what everybody else gets. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> he throws the ball <laughs> super far, and the dog's just like, "Are you serious? Why? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm not gonna go get that." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but anyways, uh, so with those with the football games going on, uh, they decide to finally drop. You know, before the game started, the Godzilla versus Kong trailer, which is coming out. March 26th, March 20th, yeah, March 26th. So that's in a couple months, you know, literally almost two months away. And first impressions burn. What'd you think of it? It looks awesome. Like all the visuals, it looks amazing. Like, I mean, it's, it's exactly what I wanted to see, you know, just big spectacle monster movie goodness, you know, just, just two behemoths just punching the hell out of each other. <laughs> I mean, literally the two biggest names in all of monster movie history, like mm-hmm. you know, the kings of pop culture, as you will, monsters, they're finally going to go out again after like 30, 40 years, maybe 50 years. It's been a long time since we've had a Godzilla versus Kong movie, so I was pretty excited by it. I did not care for the song choice, though. In all I honesty. did not. I don't know what song it was. Like, it kind of worked for like the... The scenes in the trailer, like it, 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 like the come on, like let's go. I forgot how the song went, but it, <laughs> let's go, yeah, come on, let's do it. I'm like, this is Power Rangers or Fast and Furious? What's going on here? Well, I love Power Rangers, you know. I remember uh, when it was on HBO when we were in college. I would put on the the original movie like 50 times a day. That now went in the chipmunks just to spite you. Oh my God, the was it the the, the <laughs> werewolf one or whatever? Yes. How would the chipmunks meet the wolf man? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I hated waking up to their squeaky voices. I was like, this is this is some Gitmo torture going on here. <laughs> I was psych- psychological warfare with you. But, um, <laughs> yeah, again, the song choice, it, it kind of did. When you said that, I was like, yeah. And actually, my brother was, he saw it, too. And he's like, he's like, this? Was, he's like, it looks good, but really? I was like, you're going to question this over Fast 9. Really? Let's put that on right now. <laughs> so I did. Still the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Just, it's been a long time, Dom. Dexter Bellilla. And then just, <laughs> Jacob is Dom's brother. Like, what? Just, he, he's a master assassin, a thief, a high performance driver. It's like, he's all the villains from the series combined. <laughs> I, I, like, 
a high performance driver. What the fuck is that? That could be. Why can't he just be a great driver or a fantastic? Driver? I don't know. It's just it looks dumb. The only part I really did like was just Han. Again, the biggest what the fuck is how is he still alive? The last six, seven movies have been worthless then. And then just the Supra. The Toyota Supra was the only cool part of that whole trailer. Just, oh my God, I can't. I'm not gonna, this fires me up every time I think about it. It's a real big trigger for me. I know. It's like you say the same <laughs> things over and over. It's like you, you're just getting pulled back into that that cycle of hatred. Just, oh, Ryan, you gotta, you gotta concentrate. Just concentrate. Get back on point. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, so that trailer was pretty crazy. Like, I love the additions of new actors. I kind of don't even remember them being cast, or I kind of do, but don't. But Rebecca Ferguson from The Town, Iron Man 3. She was in that one movie we saw last year, the screening before like everything went to shit. And oh, right, right, right. I forgot what the name of that movie was, but it was pretty crazy. It was a pretty good movie. Very and interesting. her name's Rebecca Hall, by the way. Rebecca Ferguson is uh, Oh, shit, you're right. Impossible. I apologize. Yeah, stricken that from the record. <laughs> Rebecca Hall. Amazing actress. She's one of my favorites. And Alexander Skarsgård from like True Blood, Battleship, uh, The Battleship. Long Shot. <laughs> just like, don't mention that one. Don't, just don't just skip it. I hate to say it, but it's kind of become a guilty pleasure. Really? You know what? I a little seen... bit, just because it's been on HBO. And I like the actors involved. Taylor Kish, Alexander Skarsgård, Liam Neeson. Brooklyn Decker is quite delightful in it. Uh, they had that one military vet who's like, you know, he actually had the prosthetic legs. And it was just, I like Peter Berg's stuff. Again, even though it's a little bombastic, it is Transformers in the Ocean. It has its moments where I'm like, I like this. I don't mind watching it. And Tata Nobu Asano. That's another movie I saw him in besides like the Thor movies. So it's kind of cool. Cool. I know. It was funny. Like just him like talking about that movie. He's like, I only made that movie so I can make Lone Survivor. <laughs> And Lone Survivor was easily one of my favorite movies. He did such a great job. Yeah, no, Peter Berg is another director that really takes pride in like the military and pays respect to them. So I appreciate that with him. But um, that was Adam Skarsgård, Rebecca Hall, uh, Millie Bobby Brown's coming back. Millie and Bobby B. Who, what's the actor's name from the Friday Night Lights show? And he was in the last one, The Dad. Uh, oh, well, Kyle Chandler. Kyle Chandler, thank you. He's coming back. Um, who else was in it? Uh, Damien Bashir's in it too. Which you like? Like, is there that kid, uh, Julian? Uh, <laughs> from Deadpool too, and uh, Hunt from the Wilder People, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't make a lot. They don't make plus size superheroes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'm I, from my prison wallet. <laughs> oh, oh, I hear you rummaging around in there. <laughs> you're rummaging around. <laughs> That's the only thing I've seen that kid in. I do want to see Hunt for the Wilder People because I think it's on like yeah. Amazon or Hulu or something or Netflix. But I got yeah, it. I saw it was on it was on Netflix. But yeah, good Taika TV movie. Definitely a must watch. I think that was one of his like first indie movies that kind of was like the trilogy of his like that Jojo Rabbit, What We Do in the Shadows. Like there was a kind of like kind of like his hot fuzz, like his trifecta of just out there comedies. But. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was kind of I couldn't recognize it from like the TV spots this week. I was like, "Who is that kid?" I'm like, "Oh, it's him! Like Deadpool two, he's coming back! Like that's cool. I wonder how. I hope he'll be funny in this one too. Like, we'll have to see." But I, I love the trailer starts out on Kong's side of the story, like it because Godzilla he's had more movies than him so far. We only yeah. had he's got Godzilla, Godzilla King of Monsters, and then just Kong Skull Island. Those are the only three movies for this new legendary monster verse that we've had, mm -hmm. and. You know, Kong is aged. He's gotten a lot bigger, too, since the, the last movie. Definitely. And he's made friends with a little kid, which is like, it's kind of showing that while he's a fierce animal, you know, just a god of, of you know, in one perspective, he's still just, he's very human. You know, he relates to this little girl from Skull Island who just gives him gifts. She gave him a little stuffed animal, like, hey, I made this for you. It's like, <laughs> well, I can't play with it, but I appreciate that, you know. Yeah, the, and, the giant uh, bipedal ape has a soft spot for, you know. For people, it seems. At yeah. least the people who are him. Yeah. And then again, I don't know the whole deal with taking him away from shore. Some supposedly they need to keep him safe or he needs to do something, but yeah, I they got need to him for something. I got like. super excited when you just hear like the Godzilla's humming through the water, just like mm -hmm. his his rumblings and his his spikes are just like giant like because they've always been really cool to see in like the last couple movies where it's just like shark fins but he destroys an aircraft carrier with it and kong's just looking at the water like kind of like how you look at a fish like yo come on out of here and just just 
Yeah, that was such a great shot where he's yeah, like like roaring into the water and then just Godzilla pops up and like screams too, like, oh damn, this is going down. Low key, they did a they did reveal a TV spot for that scene. And that part scared me when I first saw it. I was like, oh shit, that's that's Oh really? There's like a whole like dedicated clip to that scene? I need to go look at it. They've been releasing tidbits throughout the week of uh of Kong and, and of this movie. Like that was one of them was just like, mm-hmm. you know, Kong he'll come for Kong or something like that. And Kong's just like like stomping his face down roaring at the ocean and then he just pops up i was like oh oh man i did not i kind of didn't expect that to see that so (laughs) you know that was pretty cool and then yeah like we said the the rap song which was interesting choice for this trailer but you know godzilla clamoring on the aircraft killer and kong just fuck you just bam (laughs) Mm -hmm, just catches him with the right hook and like pushes him off the, the the carrier it looks like Godzilla took it like a champ, though. He Yeah, he took it, but he's just like, yo, let's get back to it. And, yeah, just a montage of just action clips and stuff like that. It was it was pretty exciting. We're definitely going to see some epic fights from the looks of it. But mm-hmm. it, the, And then even Kyle Chandler's character. Like, I like how it's two sides of people. Like, we have Rebecca Hall and Alexander Skarsgård in Kong's corner, backing him up, protecting him. But then in the other one, we have Kyle Chandler and Millie Bobby Brown because... In the last movie, they kind of wind him dead for the most part, but then at the end of it, they realize Godzilla is a force for good. He's kind of that mm-hmm. balance that we need. Yeah, and he's that monster that's like going to keep all the other ones in check. Yeah, and then he, he's saying he's killing, pe- he's hurting these people without any reason. Like that's not like him. Mm-hmm. Where you know Rebecca Hall is kind of saying like he's the enemy. Kong would not bow down to anyone, and it's like okay, like but that. That's the only thing I'm worried about this movie. Like, it, it looks great. I, I I still enjoy King of the Monsters for, like, some of the action and the other monsters, but that movie kind of sucked. So I'm hoping the human element will be better. But at the same time, the plot, it, it also just doesn't make any sense so far. But given it was just a teaser. So we'll have to see what it's going to be about. Yeah, just, just, like, from what I can gather, just, you know, based on, you know, the little clips and stuff and, like, the little dialogue moments that they've chosen to select for the trailer. I mean, it, it could be, you know... Uh, it could be what the movie is actually about or in classic trailer things, it might just be misleading us to believe something else. But what I think is going on based on the little pieces that I can piece together is that uh, I guess, you know, Godzilla is going rampant for whatever reason. The reason I think is, is because whatever that, uh, that militia group that Charles dance was a part of Mm -hmm. in the first movie that at the end, you know, they, they got, uh, they got one of uh, Ghidorah's heads, right? That was like one of, was that Ghidorah's head? Yeah, Tywin, I think Lan- like, Tywin Lannister, right? Is Charles Dance? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so at the end of that movie, like he got like that head. So I, what I think is going on is that they're trying to create, you know, uh, like a mega Godzilla, which again we like, looks like we saw like a little brief glimpse of in this trailer, where you know it's like coming out of the mountain or something, and you know people in the city are like running away from it, and it looks like it it's like a metal snout. You know, you couldn't yeah. really tell. But it, it did looks look like, like Godzilla, it. but it had like some silver with like red like in his throat. So I think that was supposed to be Mecha Godzilla. But yes, it was Ghidorah's head that they took from the last movie. Just one, just one of the few pieces of Ghidorah left. And yeah, and then we see one scene where this guy, like this, uh, I don't know if he's Japanese. It doesn't matter. He was an Asian guy in like a computer room, and it's talked about like power level or something. It looked like it looked like an energy reading of something. So I think Mecha God's like my idea so far. You probably will. You may maybe the same for you. I don't know, but yeah. You know, Kong and Godzilla are going to keep going at it. One of them may die for an instance or just be mortally wounded. But then Mecha Godzilla is going to come and try and clean up both of them. And they'll just have to, you know, one of them's going to have to fight it off or they'll both fight them off and realize, like, oh, we're both, you know, here to protect, like, the world essentially from itself. So I don't know. I, I'm, I'm Because the, the one poster that they I'm going to drop right now that they came out with this this week for the movie like the legitimate poster was mm-hmm. like god spy godzilla spikes going towards like kong in the city and it says one must fall or you know one of them will fall and it's like shit like that kind of sucks because i i love them both they're both good creatures like it's gonna be kind of sad to see one of them go you know what i mean yeah like like i was uh saying earlier i don't think uh i don't think there will be like anyone either one of them will die i don't think either you know kong or or uh or Godzilla are going to die, you know, in this movie. I think there will be a clear winner, you know, in their in their fight against each other. 
but I don't think you know one is just going to kill the other off or anything like that. Just because you know, and, and, you know, going back to to my theory, I do think you know Charles dances and those people are you know making or creating this you know Mecha Godzilla, and that's kind of what's ticking Godzilla off because he senses you know they're doing something. So I don't think his attacks are random. I think he's probably trying to find wherever they're keeping this thing is destroyed or whatever. And then you know these other people are bringing in Kong because they think they need to keep Godzilla in check or something, and then they end up fighting each other. But I also think that probably by the end of the movie, after their fight, you know, would, which however many fights that they do have, you know, and the, the clear winner comes out of that, I think, you know, Mecha Godzilla or whatever the villain's going to be reveals itself, and then we're going to have a whole, you know, Batman v Superman situation where they team up to fight the big baddie at the end. At least that's what I think it's going to be. It, it does seem like it's kind of the the trope of these type of movies, you know, but as long as it's cool, you know, I'm fine with it. Yeah, as long as the human aspect, like the human plot line is a lot like Godzilla's, where it's just straightforward, simple, not too emotional, not too plain, I guess, if that makes sense. Where it's just, it's just more of good acting. Just because the King of the Monsters one, it was just like, I love Vera Farmiga and then I love Kyle Chandler, but their kind of whole going at each other was a little like melodramatic. And then Vera Farmiga, spoiler if you guys haven't seen the second Godzilla movie, still worth a watch. I would check it out. Yeah. Um, where it's like, oh, we have to summon these monsters to, you know, kill off a good portion of the world, but to bring back a life to it. It's like, cool. This plot's been a little played out a little too much. Like they, yeah, the whole, like, the, like the whole like humans are a virus, you know, to the world, you know, like they're the monsters are here to eradicate us to reset the balance or whatever. It's like, okay, we've seen that already. Yeah, like if any, because if Godzilla was, they both kind of blame Godzilla for the death of their son, essentially. Like, how do you go from blaming humans, like one blaming humans, the other one blaming monsters, where it's like she could have, like she should have just been like, you know, I'm doing this because, you know, without our son, I, we, it's just the world doesn't seem the way it was, and I'd rather destroy it before it gets any worse and destroy the monsters in the process. Like, I think that would have made more sense than just, I want to destroy the population so mankind can be saved. It's like, okay, like that doesn't work. You know, that doesn't work like that, but whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Again, just, it was just like the human element of, of King of the Monsters was really badly written. Yeah, it was very again melodramatic for no reason. It didn't have like their plot line didn't even need to be in there. It could have just been Bill dances and like Monarch, just like a you know Ken Watanabe and them just going at each other. That's how it could have been. Yeah, yeah, that would have been, been. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a lot more tighter, and it would have like just played into the you know the whole just the bigger conflict. You know, just uh, you know them trying to back Godzilla and these other people trying to back you know all these other monsters and you know rallying with Ghidorah. Just like, you know, a battle of ideologies and a literal battle for the for the life of the planet. <laughs> yeah, but instead that was just, again, oh, just dramatically just overstepped on by this family's little grievance with each other. Like, cool. Yeah. And so, then, like, Millie Bobby Brown was just there. She, well, <laughs> she was an eco-terrorist sympathizer, so she should be shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. It was fine. I like Millie Bobby Brown, though. I'm glad, again, I'm glad to see, like, her doing from Stranger Things. I was kind of, I know we were kind of talking after our last episode with WandaVision. I was kind of thinking, I hope Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany are able to like do more stuff outside of Marvel again. Like, I know Paul Bettany's career was like on the brink of, you know, just disappearing just because there's that, there's that big story around him. Like, you know, his a producer told him, you will never work in Hollywood again. He was mm -hmm. giving up on himself. And then minutes later, just, Kevin Feige calls, hey, you want to be in Avengers Age of Ultron? It's like, it's like, fuck you, producer. I'm get, I got a role in Marvel. Like, I got a real <laughs> role this time, not just a voiceover. Um, so I, I just, I kind of like when the, when other actors that get really big from like a show or something like that, they break out into other stuff. Because it's like, the, not everyone just wants to be known for one thing. Some people do. But for a lot of actors, it's like, I want to be known for more than just one character. I want to be other characters. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, where they just don't want to be typecasted into the same things. Exactly. So, yeah, like I said, this trailer got me pretty psyched. It's just a lot of... Uh, I just, again, love seeing the, the opening just punch of them. Uh, them kind of going at it in the city where Kong has some weird, like, giant battle axe. I thought, damn, he's going primal with this. Mm -hmm. I respect that. Like, that's interesting. Um, yeah. Already visually, it looks really cool. Like, the, the set pieces, at least, from the trailer... Well, the ones we've seen in the trailer look really cool you know like the helicarrier uh uh you know the fight on there 
and then you know their fight where it looks like i think it's I think it's in Hong Kong or something with like the neon lights at night where, you know, yeah. it looks just it looks so beautiful. It gives me like the real uh, Pacific Rim vibes when they're having their fight in the city, which was dope. You know, if if you haven't seen Pacific Rim, go watch that movie because to get you hyped up because that's some real cool kaiju action in that movie. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, they're just uh, just visually it looks really, uh, really good. I'm sure the action is going to be great. You know, it's just um, the, it's just more so the the story that I'm a little worried about. Not that we go to these things for the story, but it's kind of if the story is, has to at least be decent to to make the overall experience better because this would really drug down King of the Monsters for me. I go for the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just the John Lovitz face just. <laughs> I can't do his face from Rat Race. Just like his completely petrified and just shocking complete off disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But yeah, that trailer got me hyped up. The poster looks great. Um, some of the shots in that trailer in general were just amazing. Like you said, the whole neon lights and Godzilla just roaring in there, like a really nice like silhouette look for him. Mm-hmm. And it it will be i think it'll be a lot of fun regardless and it's coming on it's not only going to theaters for those who are open but also coming to hbo max so i could watch it on my own time and be comfortable with it and whatnot so i'm excited which, are, which it's starting to look like more and more you know warner brothers has made the right move here because we're already seeing you know a lot of movies are getting delayed you know to either early next year or late this year and you know with their release uh plan here you know going both theater and uh, streaming service, there it seems like they're not going to miss a beat, and we're still going to get new movies. You know, at least every month it seems like so, and it seems like they're winning right now. Yeah, I mean, again, I know H. I think I think HBO, from the sounds of it, Warner Brothers is like rectifying um, them releasing it through streaming because I know there were more talks of like Godzilla and Kong kind of getting their back pay a little bit like early mm-hmm. on because uh, like like we were talking about a couple of months ago, like last month was that. How they made this? They told all these directors and move. They didn't even tell the directors and the no, these films. Didn't, yeah. and that's like, oh yeah, we're just gonna release it on the streaming service. So good luck, or like you know, just a heads up. It's like, what the fuck? Like, so what? We're gonna lose millions of dollars because of this? Again, there's a very double-edged sword argument, but at the heart of it, they're rectifying that. So I'm sure they're like with each movie, they're kind of saying, okay, well, we're predicting this is how much it'll make, so we'll give you that much at least, and then you'll get whatever you get in the theaters, whichever are open. And yeah. we'll put on streaming service because at this, with everything going on this year, it's still you know, still a crap year so far. Just you know, Larry King died, God rest him, and you know, vaccinations are taking forever. God damn it! My dad got <laughs> his though, so he got his first shot. So I'm happy about that. Nice. Um, but yeah, I won't be able to go to a movie theater anytime soon just because LA they're still not open. So we're waiting on that. So HBO Max did make the right decision, and I'm glad Warner Brothers is, sounds like they're making their amends with that so it'll have to be the they'll have to be what we'll have to settle for for now yeah exactly but i i can't wait i'm excited for that hopefully we'll get another trailer soon hopefully they'll start dropping more trailers as these as it gets closer because you know godzilla comes out in two months mortal kombat comes out in three months Mm -hmm. and then you know the snyder cut that comes out in two months as well which i know we haven't talked about it much but i'm still super excited for it it's gonna be a four-hour flipping movie of justice league the Mm -hmm. one Zack snyder wanted to make so i i can't wait to see it and hopefully we'll get another like i said hopefully we'll get another trailer for that in the coming weeks just because it'd be nice to see another one probably for super bowl sunday if anything That'd be dope. Yeah. Uh, either way, I, it's, you know, it'd be, it'd be fun to start uh, talking about it and seeing all these uh, all these marketing campaigns ramp up for these movies that are coming out right around the corner. Now, it's just this is me. This is me. A, a wealth of uh, good things, you know, that we haven't had in a while. <laughs> See, that's just good things to do. Bert. I mean, <laughs> what are they going to do? Put a bunch of, you know, not put a bunch of trailers. Come on. They got a little more sense than that. <laughs> yeah, they didn't put a lot of trailers up on, on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I love Rick James. God rest him, too. <laughs> cocaine's or, a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> because that was before uh, cocaine was illegal. It's always been illegal. Has it? <laughs> just... <laughs> His face is just like, oh, shit. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But anyways, that's our trailer reactions. I'm super excited. Burn super excited. You know, I think I'm, I'm, I'm in Godzilla's corner. He's, I got my boy. 
you know. Yeah. I guess just for the the whole rivalry aspect, all wait, you said Kong or you said Godzilla? I said Godzilla. Hashtag uh, Japan proud. Okay, well then I'll I'll go with <laughs> I'll with my boy I'll go with my boy uh, Tore Kong. <laughs> no, Tore Kong's a bitch. <laughs> he fell off a building. I mean, like he's, he can't be that cool. <laughs> I mean, he got shot over a woman. Is he really that cool? Well, I mean, I mean, Sa- Sa- Sammy J blew, blew him up in the in the first movie. So I was like, you know, how strong is he really? <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's kind of a pussy if you think about it. <laughs> you and your monkey. <laughs> they made me all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Um, we'll we'll definitely have to talk WandaVision next week and. Let's keep our ears to the ground if anything else comes up. You know, if like you hear anything come up, or or if I see anything on the the movie news, as they say, the movie vine or the the grape reel, as I like to call it. We'll have to <laughs> <figure> that up. <laughs> the the movie scape sphere web thing. <laughs> cut cut check the gate. Moving on. <laughs> All right, man. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later, man. And and uh, for all you guys listening too, you know, let us know what you got out of the trailer. Are you guys hyped as we are? Did you hate the music as much as we did? <laughs> Let us know. Or if you dug the music, that's fine. You know, but it's just again, Content. to each their own. Yeah, it just doesn't work. <laughs> but you know, if you like it, that's that's fine. That's fine. I mean, if the Great Gatsby had rap music in it, I think it's fine. You know. Mm-hmm. But that was actually a good rap song, though. This rap song, I don't know what the hell it was. Man, I never saw a great Gatsby song. <laughs> it was just a series of, uh, yeah, let's go. Well, yeah, it's getting you excited. Fat away. <laughs> <laughs> like, Monsters. <laughs> They're just saying random words now. <laughs> Darkness. No parents. <laughs> <laughs> like Lego Batman song about mm-hmm. it. <laughs> All right, man. Like I said, yeah, like Burns said, please let us know what you liked about it. Are you looking forward to it? Um, We'd love to hear your thoughts. But until next time, I'll talk to you later, Burn. Catch you on the flippity flap. (laughs) Godzilla, I got the last word in. Kong, Kong.